Hello there YouTube, Beardo here, and we are back with another Top 5 Scary Videos from Nuke. And this is Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos that are not for the screamish. I'm not screamish. Apparently I can get jump scared a little bit. Let's see if there is something scary. Let's see if there's some bullshit. Before I press play on this video... Head on over to Nuke, subscribe to his channel. Top 5 Scary Ghost videos are not for the screamish. Watch the video, like the video, and then come back and watch our reaction. And get involved in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Jimmy Barnes, yes, it's all a load of tosh. I know what you're saying. And no, Nuke doesn't pay me to do these. Let's go. Top 5 Ghosts, all on camera. When the walls come tumbling down. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies are back on a new investigation that brings them to an old abandoned train station in Piney, Manitoba. What's a few of these guys? Some of them are good, some of them seem a little OTT. A little bit much. My secondary monitor just turned off. Manitoba, Canada. The Piney train station was closed in the 1960s. In the 1980s, a tormented local man named Dennis drank himself to death in the abandoned Piney train station. Locals believe that his spirit haunts the station to this day. People have seen unexplained shadows in the windows of the train station and curious explorers who dared to go inside would feel a presence watching them. The paranormies Jordan and Johnny set out to investigate whether the stories are true. I'd go in there. No fear. I don't have the equipment to do it, but I'd do it. Once inside the Piney train station, the two friends realize just how badly decayed the building is. The roof yeah. actually seems like it's about to collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. I wouldn't make too much noise in there. Is that, is that upstairs? No, that's outside. Holy f man, it sounded like a piece of the house just busted off. What? That might have been it, because look at the roof. Was that a piece of the house or was that you? Jordan and Johnny aren't sure whether they just captured something par- I changed my mind. I wouldn't go in there. That's gonna fall down around them. Paranormal or something might have fallen from the ceiling. But the longer they're inside, the stranger the unexplained sounds become. Not really. I mean Holy <laughs> Fuck using a Ouija board. Ever. I'm kind of skeptical about the whole paranormal thing. I kind of believe it. I'm sort of on, I'm on the fence. Some things I think are paranormal. Some things I think are absolute horseshit. Wouldn't touch a Ouija board. No way. And I'd even out with it with that glass breaking. It sounds like glass shattering. This time the paranormies team hears the sound of glass shattering somewhere inside the old train station. But again, they can't quite place where the crash came from. But the next sound they hear is even creepier. She was saying he's so emotional. That's footsteps. Matter. That's f***ing footsteps. Cool. Hang on, hang on. Shh. I don't know why I'm looking around like I can see better than they can, idiot. This thing is going off right now. Dennis. Dennis. That's f***ing loud, dude. I'm going out. Dennis is pissed. Jordan and Johnny hear footsteps coming from right above them on the second floor. Dennis is pissed. We were free to use there when the guy drank himself to death. That was not on purpose. Or, however, when they go up to investigate, there's no one there. But the two explorers do find the source of one sound they hear. And it is absolutely terrifying. All the, like, the people that are coming through this place. React. What's that? React. How's that? What is that, man? Dude. What? It's on the door. Hang on. Is that, is Dude, that? What the fuck is Wait, go around the back. Go around the back. I want to see around the back. And it just stopped. Wait. It 
there was a cut there. I know they've switched cameras, but that camera they were filming on initially should have just looped around without any pause or cut. I'm not saying they faked it or staged it, but there's the potential for it to have been a camera cut there. Somebody to have run around out of there. And it just stops. The lock on a door is eerily shaking back and forth on its own. When the investigators get close to the door, the fast-paced rattling mysteriously just stops. Jordan and Johnny decide to do a sensory deprivation there. session. Jordan covers his eyes and puts headphones in his ears so that the only thing he hears are the answers coming through their spirit box. Meanwhile, Johnny asks questions to the spirit of Dennis that might be haunting the abandoned train station. They get some strange answers. But then, something even more shocking happens. Now, I've seen people doing the sensory deprivation. They have a spirit box running through their earphones. Most of them use noise cancelling earphones so you can't hear the questions being asked. He's got a pair of wired buds. They're not noise cancelling, so he's going to hear the questions. The more I'm seeing of this, the more I'm thinking, meh. That cut for the door, that's just made me look even harder at it, like, nah. There better be some impressive shit. Oh. Uh, here. Here. That was you, you're here? If you can make that noise again. I heard K2. If you can make that noise again, I'll check the K2. If you can make that noise again, let us know. In here. We'll come over there. Sweep. What? There's a noise over there. Fuck. Oh my God. Did you see it? No, I did the not. The bizarre silhouette of what looks like the upper half of a person can be seen slowly forming in the hallway. A when Jordan shines his flashlight on the eerie figure, it disappears. Eventually, the guys decide to set up a Ouija board to communicate with the spirit. Nothing bad not ever happened go well. because of a Ouija board. My hands and knees are just shaking. Did you move? It looks like it. it's crooked. Really? No, it's still over right over top. It's right over T, but I thought it was straighter before. What was that? The light just died? Or a light just died. Was that you, Dennis? The thing was or your, fully or your batteries should run out. Might be using the energy. Oh, dude. Get out, 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 get out. Holy shit. <laughs> It sounded like everything was falling apart. Holy oh, See? The light on the camera dies bolts. even though the battery is fully charged. And then the guys have to make a run for it as the station suddenly starts to fall apart all around them. They grab their camera, leave the Ouija board, and just get out of there. So did the Paranormies capture supernatural evidence that proves that the Piney train station is haunted? No. I don't think so. There was a cut there. Supernatural evidence that proves that the piney... That shadow is clearly the guy behind him. There's a light on a stationary camera behind them. And just there, that square object, he's got a, a camera mounted in a frame. He's holding it there, scanning about. That's his own shadow. I don't think there's anything in that. is haunted. Did they capture the ghost of Dennis's lingering soul on camera? And of course, it disappeared when you put a flashlight on it, because that's how shadows work. As always, you decide. You can watch this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube Not channel, elaborate. Paranormies. Caught on camera. This next video was sent to me privately by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Mary Therese Pagai from the Philippines. In her email, Mary says that she's a nursing student and that she was at home with her brother recording a demonstration video for her final exam. Then, this happened. One, three, go. One, okay, na? Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, um, verified the client's... Now that I have introduced myself to the patient, explain the procedure and ask for his consent, you may want to script this out and then read it. Just saying. Verify well, it. the client's identity and provide. 
Ano ba ton? Sige pa dai, sige na, sige na, sige na, sige na. O tara tara, 1 2 3 go. Now that I have introduced myself to the patient. Uh, now that I have introduced myself to the patient. I laughed, but it's really hard to do introductions. I fumble loads of them. Um, if I left them all in, the videos would be twice as long as they are at the moment. <laughs> and they shit themselves and legged it. That's a normal reaction. The light flickers for a second and then just off screen, the closet door forcefully slams open on its own, scaring Mary and her brother so much that they run from the room. In a follow-up video, Mary shows the closet that burst open and the story gets truly bizarre. So this is where it all began, and this is the cabinet. And I'm actually very afraid to touch it or open it. I'm very sorry for the mess. So as you can see, this cabinet is full of clothes, and no person can actually, oh my gosh, fit inside here. And this is where my brother stood, and this is the light switch. So my brother was uh, videotaping me, uh, filming, filming here. I was standing here, and my brother was standing here, and the lights the actually is started brilliant. to flicker before the cabinet opened. And actually, before that, we were actually experiencing um weird things. Oh my gosh, I'm very, I'm sorry, I'm very scared. Did she not but hear that growl? what it looks like inside. <laughs> tabi tabi po. No person can actually fit inside here. It was actually me and my brother inside this room. And a child and right could fit now, in I'm it. not sleeping inside this room. I'm sleeping Neither would in I. my parents' uh, room. Mary explains that she is now too scared to sleep in her own room. And maybe she should be. Because during the recording of her follow-up video, a strange voice can be heard. And actually, oh, before that, we were actually experiencing um weird things. Move out! Now, Mary has a YouTube channel, but her videos are entirely dedicated to her nursing education. And, how and that is what makes it more believable. That channel is not about ghost hunting, it is about nursing. And they have accidentally caught that random light flicker, door burst open, and now that growl. That is far more believable to me, and I would set fire to the house and find somewhere new to live, because fuck that shit. I have nothing at all to do with the paranormal. Furthermore, Mary says that she's always been a skeptic, and before these videos, nothing paranormal had ever happened in her home. The reaction seems really me, genuine. Personally, I'd have to say that she genuinely looks terrified in this clip. That's what I said, Nuke. But what do you think? What remains? Urban Explorer Chris That was far more believable. <coughs> Urbex Hill again. I've seen a lot of his. Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill travels to the city of Warren, Ohio to explore the long-abandoned St. Joseph Riverside Hospital. The sprawling medical facility was established in the 1960s, and as with any old hospital, thousands of patients passed away inside its walls. Many people believe that some of those patients never left. Because, you see, the St. Joseph Riverside Hospital is said to be extremely haunted. Chris enters Every the old King building, and as he explores the hospital's cluttered hallways and rotting rooms, he captures some very strange sounds. Bless you. That was a sneeze, right? That <laughs> sounded like a sneeze. Gesundheit. I mean, uh, it could just be the, the uh, squatters there looking for shelter, but who the hell is going to be down there? That's rancid. A 
There's somebody clapping. Later, and on a completely different floor, he hears something again. Now, I'm not sure growl. exactly what these odd sounds could be. Obviously, it might be anything from animals inside the hospital to just some very odd building settling noises. Or possibly even something paranormal. First one was a but sneeze. Either way, Chris just shrugs it off and completes his exploration throughout the entire St. Joseph Hospital. But later on, after Chris uploads his video, observant YouTube viewers spot something that Chris didn't even notice. Something Did you see it? Downright chilling. Where are you? You shadow lurker. I know you're there. <laughs> Somebody's drawn a cock on that wall. <laughs> oh, it's flooded. Did you see it? It's very easy to miss, but what appears to be a hand or arm can be seen quickly disappearing behind a door frame. Chris has no idea what he's just captured and passes right by the door and continues on to explore the flooded rooms down the hallway. So just what is this? The guy that sneezed. Could it simply be a squatter who is living in the old deserted building? Or could it be one of the spirits that roam the old hospital hallways? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire video and many more explorations of creepy abandoned buildings. I mean, would that be better than sleeping outside? I doubt it. It's all wet, decaying, and probably moldy. Nobody's going to fucking sleep in that. Buildings Odd. over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Oh dear. TikTok user DinoNugget741 claims that ever since he saw a quote voodoo lady in New Orleans seven years ago, that something followed him home, and that the entity has not left him alone ever since. When I said. I wouldn't touch or fuck with a Ouija board for obvious reasons. I wouldn't fuck with voodoo either. Now, do I believe in voodoo? I don't think I do. But the people that practice it believe in it enough, the shit goes wrong. Uh -uh. He says that the mysterious spirit even follows him when he moves to a new house. He records his terrifying experiences and posts them to TikTok. Oh, look One at night, in an attempt to cleanse his brand new home in Colorado with Sage, the TikTok user captures something absolutely horrifying. That's a big doobie. <laughs> He's hotboxing the ghost out. I'm not afraid, man. There's definitely something down there. Come on out, man. And then I saw its face. Do, 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 do. Now he's a believer. Not a trace. A ghost in his basement. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope that was your missing. Oh. As he opens the door to the basement, a dark figure can be seen standing at the bottom of the staircase, just kind of staring up at him. When he turns on the light, the figure disappears out of sight. He checks out the basement. Didn't disappear. It. That's what we were officially calling it. Shit. Out of sight. But there's no one there. Could have been behind and any of those things. He hears the voice of what sounds like a laughing woman from upstairs, and the door slams shut. Didn't sound like a laugh to so me. Is this sounded like. Or is this bizarre haunting just an elaborate hoax? Could be. You decide. You can check out more of his paranormal encounters over on his TikTok page and YouTube channel, Dino Nuggets 741 So I keep seeing comments saying that the original video is on Nuke's Top 5s, 
Uh, if somebody has the link to that, could you please send it to me? Because I, I can't seem to find it. TikTok user Look, Dom Matigan says that his family home in Chicago was built in 1929 and that the original owner, a man named Richard Spencer, took his own life after he suffered financial ruin during the Great Depression. For years, Dom and his family have heard the strange sounds of footsteps, knocking, and even banging inside their home. The family believes that the ghost of Richard Spencer haunts the home. One night around 11 p.m., Dom is home alone when suddenly the angry ghost makes a terrifying return. Dom grabs his phone and starts to record. Okay, so I'm literally home alone. Listen to how loud and aggressive it is. But the door wasn't moving. You just seen that door. That's why we're moving. Now, obviously Dom doesn't seem to be frightened at all by the incident, but Dom explained that he's heard the banging so many times now that it doesn't even really scare him anymore. Weeks later, it happens again and Dom is ready. Okay, so we're back in the house and every few seconds there's another <laughs> Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. He runs toward Get the door the and opens it, here. but again, no one there. Intrigued TikTok viewers wonder what would happen if Dom started to knock back. Another night, and Dom decides to test it out. Okay, so I'm just, I'm trying to get ready for bed. And there's another one. It's so f***ing Everyone's been asking me to try and knock back. I'll teach you. You f***ing dick. Dom steps outside and knocks on the door himself, but the response actually comes from the closet door next to him. These days, Dom says that instead of being scared by the haunting, it has actually started to become a tiring nuisance. Dom is currently making plans to move to a new house. So is Dom's family home haunted by an angry ghost? You decide. You can find more of his paranormal experiences over on the YouTube channel and TikTok page, Dom Matigan. So last week, I featured the story of Maddie Bark, who believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Maddie. Oh, is this the doorbell Maddie? ringing? Oh my God. Maddie? Who is the f Oh my God. Did he just move? Get out there! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go and have a look! Maddie says that she often sees a creepy translucent figure on the property around her home, seemingly getting closer and closer to the house. Since the video, Maddie went on a TikTok live stream ghost investigation in her own backyard in an attempt to capture the bizarre figure again. Her live stream. I have seen one of her videos on Nuke's Top 5 where something walks across the snow without leaving footprints. Viewers are shocked when they see something that Maddie just can't see. So these are the trees. That trees noted. Keeps getting foggy, and it's actually kind of clear. Well, obviously you can't see the sky, but it's like super clear. The same strange, pale, translucent apparition seems to appear right in front of Maddie, but. What do you think? You can follow Maddie's paranormal experiences uh, over on her YouTube channel and TikTok tell what page, that was. Maddie Bark. The Red House. Paranormal investigator Kevin Barranco from the red. YouTube channel Archivo Extinto travels to Guadalajara, Mexico to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, which translates to the Red House. The house was built in 1923 and for years functioned as military barracks before becoming a hospital. The hospital was eventually closed down and the property was left empty and abandoned. Stories circulated that the remote and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Uh. Curious visitors claim to have seen witches, demons, and the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification of death itself. Kevin is joined by his friends as they explore the creepy location, but the group begins to get a little nervous when they hear odd noises 
coming from all around them. Ay, no mames, se escuchó un ruido de acá de este lado. ¿Dónde wey? fue? ¿Dónde fue? Se escuchó acá de este lado. Ay, cabrón, no mames. Tranquilos, tranquilos, tranquilos. Ay, no mames, me saqué. Tranquilos, tranquilos. ¿Dónde fue? De este lado, fue aquí adentro, no, no sé exactamente en qué parte. Pero. The group finds strange symbols and words written on the walls inside the structure, both in Spanish and oddly in English too. And again, they hear something. Sí, esto es bastante interesante. Es una palabra en inglés que no voy a mencionar en estos momentos por cuestiones de protección hacia nosotros. Pero dentro de las palabras de dentro de esta palabra hay. Benny? Is Benny a bad word? Oh, the googly... The camera seems to capture the sound of an unexplained deep breath coming from somewhere in the darkness. That's what I heard. As they continue investigating the writing on the walls, they capture something downright chilling. No, you do not. What appears to be a cloaked figure can be seen walking inside the structure, but the Archivo Extinto team are completely unaware of what they have just captured. So could it be that Kevin and his team captured the apparition of Santa Muerte? It was in white. Lady of Death. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You odd. can watch this full scary three-part investigation over on the YouTube channel Very odd. Archivo Extinto. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here. Follow me on Twitter here. And then apparently there's also a TikTok. Oh. TikTok? Anyway, I'll see you next week. Let's go follow him on all of his socials. That was cool. There was some cool stuff in there. There was um, stuff I think was faked. Um, nothing in there that made me screamish. So I have been Beardo. Comment on the video down below. Let me know if you thought any of that was real or if you know any of it was faked. And I will catch you in the next one. Beardo, out.